joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is Arise News Analyst Emmanuel Efeni. Good morning, Emmanuel. Good morning, Ruben. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Great Malabar. Yes, Ruben. <laughs> uh, Tundu, how did I forget yesterday? It's a better forgotten. How could you? It's a, but it's a better <laughs> forgotten. Anyway, anyway, it's a anyway, better Mr. forgotten date. Mr. Efeni, anyway, I, I didn't forget. Continue, we'll continue to celebrate heroism. I didn't forget, Mr. Efeni, we'll just to let you know. We'll continue to celebrate heroism. Tundu, MK, Abiola. Thank you. Well, yes. I, I will recommend to you a brilliant piece that uh, Tundu wrote on our Facebook wall. Thank you. Uh, on that uh, particular, uh, yes. you know, uh, occasion, yes. Brilliant. We high praise, really. high praise indeed, coming from the great <laughs> intellect, Dr. Ruben Abati. Ch 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 yes. Mr. Feeney, I didn't forget that thing. Ruth, I did not forget. <laughs> My dad is remembering. Anyway, is a better forgotten. If any, shoot your shot, yes. as they say in Nigeria. Let's move on. These day newspapers, Nigeria's newspaper of record, the lead story, Magus Travel persists as presidential investigation enters fourth week. That investigation started much earlier before Magu was invited or arrested. Panel recommends his suspension. Security agents search residents, detain him at FCID. Presidency says EFCC boss not above the law. Now, other newspapers are reporting this story as their lead stories. Daily Independent, federal government, federal government prepares prosecution of suspended Ibrahim Mago. Olani Kweku Olukoyede takes over as EFCC acting chair. I hope I got that pronunciation right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yes. Pass mark. EFCC. Olukoyede. Okay, Olukoyede. Olani Kweku yes. Olukoyede. Yes. yes. Why? We are investigating him, presidency. Salami unfit to head panel against Magu, says Body George. He's a PDP chieftain, if you, if you remember. Okiro's suspension of Magu over case files re echoes. Now, the New Telegraph, presidency on EFC chairs pro, Magu not above the law, says allegations too weighty to be ignored. Spent second night in FCID detention. Police search and battled cops, Abuja residents. And of course, the nation newspaper, detectives search Magu's house as probe continues. EFC chair returns to custody after second day of grilling. Three shortlisted for job. Of course, the Vanguard newspaper, Magu spent second day under interrogation. Magu's private residence at Karu searched, grilled till 8.30 p.m. yesterday. Any EFCC chair must be above suspicion, says presidency. Now, the punch newspaper, allegations of corruption, police combed Magu's house after suspension, returned to custody. Allegations against EFC boss too weighty to be ignored official. And of course, the daily trust Newspaper, um, Buhari shops for Magu's replacement. Suspend the FC chair, risk persecution. Now, of course, according to Daily Trust, four persons have been penciled down an AIG, no, two AIGs, one commissioner of police, and of course, a retired AIG. So these are the persons being penciled down according to the Daily Trust. But, the Magu saga continues. The presidential, uh, that panel, uh, it's an administrative panel, and it can indict or exonerate Magu. But the optics are not looking good. The panel asked Magu to step, to step down, according to this day. But he was adamant, so his suspension was recommended, and the president uh, duly endorsed that. Now, what will be the fate of Magu? A new name is being touted already as the acting, um, acting uh, chairman of the FCC. Of course, Magu was acting for the, has been acting for the past four years. So another acting is to take place because a communication to that effect has reached the EFCC. Yes, uncertainty around the 
uh, anti-graft body, but the body must continue to do its work. We're talking of institutions, strong institutions, not strong persons, as we have seen over time uh, with the EFCC, where the chairman happened to act like a strong man, but we want strong institutions. But that is the situation now, Ruben Tundu and Rufai. I'm just concerned about this poison chalice that is the chairmanship of the EFCC. Mm. As Dr. Batu observed earlier, all of them, from Ribadu to Magu, have been trailed by some controversy or another. And it also should be remembered that the same can be said of the Attorney General's office since the Umaru Yara Duwa years. I think the only exception really was um, uh, Mr. Coyote that wasn't tainted, that wasn't arraigned, arrested, or just basically dragged over hot coals by the EFCC after their tenure. So while we're talking about chickens coming home to roost, some of those involved in this power play should do well to remember that as well. It works both ways. Well, the thing to note, I mean, we spent a lot of saliva on this subject since, uh, yesterday. This is about the sixth time uh, we are commenting on this particular subject. I think the only thing uh, that remains to be said is that uh, President Buhari should take special notice of the fact that many Nigerians who seem to have made up their minds that uh, it looks like uh, Mr. Ibrahim Magu is going to uh, be out of that uh, position, although that may be uh, prejudicial. Uh, to the outcome of the investigation by the Ayo Salami panel. But many Nigerians are already going ahead and coming up with the conversation, who will succeed him? Now, most of the newspapers are quoting sources. They are saying they gathered this, uh, uh, this source told them this, told them that. And, well, one newspaper was bold enough to say, Olani uh, who is the secretary of the uh, EFCC, is the person in charge now. The question that many Nigerians are asking is that, who will come next after Magu? Will it be another northerner? And so in that regard, and you know when that question is raised, <laughs> uh, many Nigerians are saying, look, uh, all the strategic positions within the Ru security uh, Ruben, space. Ruben, are you saying we should allow Olani Peku Oluko Yede to continue? No, I'm not making a case for okay. the secretary of the ESCC. It, I'm just saying that Nigerians would like to see how the president uh, moves forward on this subject of the chairmanship of the ESCC. Yeah. And he presents the president with an opportunity, again, uh, to show his statesmanship, yeah. to look far afield, yes. uh, not to go and pick a person from uh, uh, Daura yes. uh, to come and be the next ESCC chair. Yes. Uh, uh, he should make his choice, yes. you know, on the basis of competence and ability, and there are people across Nigeria who can fill that spot. That very, space. very well said. I don't want the repeat of this, uh, Sayafa, or, 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 uh, the Sayafa, the former chief of the DSS issue, a very qualified man. Who happened to come from the Niger Delta. All right, that, that's all on the headline. Thank you so much, Mr. Fitz.